Hey, what's up guys? It's Samer. How are you guys doing today? Because I'm having a fantastic day. Today it is Sunday. Today is the Michigan race. Right now I'm just playing some Last of Us. Um, trying to get past that one part where they're doing stuff and then it's difficult. No, basically it's that one part where they're like going around this area and there's like a bunch of uh, like kitchen chairs and everything around there. And then like, you can like hide behind a police car and start shooting at like, there's like tons of people and... It's like you, Tess, and Ellie. It's pretty difficult at that part. And it's probably only going to get more difficult, so I'm like an hour into the game still. I've not got much farther. Let's go upstairs. So guys, I'm downloading Smite right now. I actually just found out that it's a free game, but I've also heard that it's really good, so I'm downloading it right now. It's only like a gigabyte, so it shouldn't take too long to download. I also got 3-on-3. Three three. I'm not sure what that is. I tried this 3-on-3 three three game, and I didn't know how to even set up my team, so I'm going with the conclusion that it sucks. Again this week, the race starts at 3, which is weird because it's on the East Coast and it's like my time. So it usually starts at like 1. But, okay, I guess it's starting at 3 today. So I can make a video and probably continue, probably finish editing it, so that's cool. Okay guys, I'm about to film a main channel video. It's uh 10 upcoming challenges, or like the 10 new challenges that are going to like happen on the internet. Like 10 new internet challenges that are just... Pretty much totally ridiculous, but it's pretty funny to like make jokes because I'm a funny guy. Thompson Square. Drivers, start your engines! We'll go to the rear of the field. Unapproved body modifications after inspection on pit road. So Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch go to the end of the field because of unapproved body modifications. That's what we're just getting. Now we got a lot of guys going to the rear. We also have a competition caution on lap 20 because there was rain this morning. Competition caution is lap 20. Green, let's go, come on. Wow, that's so creative. Well, yesterday we had a crash on the first lap on the first turn right after they crossed the start-finish line. Looks like we're going to go a little farther than that. This track is always known for having a caution early in the first like 10 laps. There's a debris caution. At least a little later than what the first caution was in yesterday's Xfinity race. Because like I said, that happened on the first turn. Okay, here we go. Back green, Kyle Larson leads. Lap 10. See if Truex has any luck on the bottom this time. No. Questions can he get up That's right sad. here and he doesn't again just like what happened this time it's with Boyer just like that last start Kyle Bush got to the outside of Truex this time Boyer gets there but can he get him back down here at three and four? Well Boyer drove that thing into turn three, got a nice little lead there over the 78. This is one of those tracks because of that draft down these long, fast straightaways. But once you get trapped down there at the bottom, you could lose two, three, four. And the competition caution is coming out right about now. It's pretty soon. They cycle through. And then the competition caution. Then they'll pit. Be able to take fuel. McMurray is having trouble. Yeah, he's slowing down. It's been an issue for the last few laps, but then it's gotten bigger now. It's the best time for that to happen for him, though, because of the competition caution coming out. Honestly, if it were any time other in the race, it'd be bad. Here comes the field. Almost everybody came, except for some guys in the back. Martin Trex Jr. balance on the car is pretty good. He just wants to restart on the outside. The spotter Clayton Hughes going to help him with that here. Right side's only, Matt. Good Lord. So he's more security. Look for some possible more right side tire gamesmanship here on pit road. That's what Warner does. Meanwhile, the 42. Like okay, Kyle Busch comes off second, I think. Yeah, second. Kyle and Kyle show so many times we've seen that. Leading back to the green on lap 30. Come on, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, he got it, though. Come on, Kyle Busch. And I predicted Kyle Larson in the prediction show that he would win. So, here comes Hamlin. Hamlin won the Xfinity race yesterday. So, and he made that same kind of move. So. Kyle Busch is falling back. It's not good. 
Okay, we got the final lap of the stage, and Martin Truex is leading. He's gonna win stage number one, of course. He, it's like Martin Truex Jr. wins stages. He's won the most stages this year so far, and he's actually won the most stages of all time. Martin Truex Jr. wins stage number one. MTJ, Martin. Okay, here we go. Kyle Busch coming on pit road, and he's in. And he's out. Kyle Busch comes out third. Kyle Larson comes out first. With Truex in second. They're going back green for stage number two, guys. Kyle Larson, Truex, and Kyle Busch. Truex takes the lead from Kyle Larson right at the get go. Kyle Larson trying to take it back though. Yep. Wow, Kyle Busch went up into the groove and right to, about took the nose off Clint Boyd. Well, that's what I talked about with Mark Trix Jr. at the beginning of this race. He had that opportunity to, to do that, chose not to, but that was a pretty risky move by Kyle Busch, but it did work out for him. You know, one thing I'm seeing is that outside line up right next to that grade is getting better. Guys, I just wanted to say that we are getting NASCAR Heat Evolution on Wednesday. So videos are probably going to start on either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure if I'm going to have face cam for it because, like, like I said, they're going to be like full length races. It's not too much to edit, but it's too much to export. I mean, it's not like physically too much to export, like the computer won't allow it, but it's just like... I don't have energy for that. Basically, my plan is to set up the tripod in front of the TV, be kind of like this, and then like kind of like how N2SC 4R used to do it. He'd film his screen, and they were really good videos too. So he's probably the best gamer that I've ever seen that just records his screen. Nowadays, he uses the Elgato, but I don't have that. Oh. Oh wait, no, that's not live. That's during practice. Okay. I thought the Johnson had wrecked. I actually got my hopes up. Yeah, it'll be career mode. Might live stream it, actually. Yeah, now that I think about it, I might actually live stream them. I might live stream it, because I know you can live stream on the PS4. I might live stream. That, that actually sounds like a better idea. Because I can use the microphone. And I might turn off game audio, because... So you can guys just, just hear me. It might actually be what I do. I think I'll do that. Okay, we got two laps to go on the stage. Final lap now. Kyle Busch trying to go for second. Passes Kyle Larson. Truex Jr. has the lead. Coming for yet another stage. Kyle Busch will get second. <laughs> Going back green. The Geico restart zone. Mark Truex on the outside. Kyle Busch on the inside. Then Ken's at the Truex has the lead. Kyle Busch second. Here they go. Back green. 73 laps to go. Kyle Busch takes the lead from Truex, but Truex quickly looks like he's going to get it back. <laughs> so hard to pass here. Truex is going to get that first mid-corner that Kyle Larson enjoyed earlier. Now the one beauty that Kyle Busch had, he also had his teammate Matt Kenseth in that outside second row. Kind of kind of bit, him a break there, so it really worked out pretty good for Kyle Busch either way. Three wide. And that's the first lap of the stage. The caution is out because Ryan Sieg spun. Here is what happened. I wish it's, it's, he said it was pretty close in front of Martin Truex. Oh, I wish he had wrecked. I wish he had wrecked. And then Kyle Busch could win because he's in second. He almost did. Kyle Busch is in, and he is out, going to come out before Truex and before everyone else leads him off pit road. Awesome job. Hopefully, he can win. Okay, so it's Kyle Busch and Eric Jones on the front row with Blaney and Junior on the second row. Truex is in the third row behind Chase Elliott. So they go with 46 laps to go. Yeah, Kyle Busch, come on, pull away. You got this. Okay, it looks like he has it. And uh, Eric Jones makes them pile up back there. Yeah, we don't have to worry about Truex. 
Last week we had to worry about Blaney though, so I'm kind of concerned about Blaney. Yep, this changes everything. We got a caution for debris with 21 laps to go. I did not want to see that. Now, this is really going to hurt Kyle Busch. And we're going to even have a longer winless streak. I'm not sure. Maybe he's able to do it. Maybe if he pitched quick, he'll be able to do it. But then again, we'll see drivers stay out, drivers come in. I'm not sure. I hope. I just hope that it's all going to be all right. Here they go. 15 laps to go. Super nervous. Come on, Kyle Busch. You got this. Come on, come on, come on, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> come on. Wow, look at this move by Larson. Pass him. You got the outside. The outside's better. You got loose. Come on. Kyle Larson was the one who I predicted in the prediction show, so it'll be alright anyway if Larson wins, but I, I want Kyle Bush to win. There's trouble for Clint Boyer with 14 laps to go. This could be another chance. This could be a great another chance. Can Chase Elliott win? Can he win at Michigan? He's restarting second. I'm not sure. It's gonna be intense. I, I'm really, I'm really nervous. Kyle, you got this on this restart. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe that you have the rights and the abilities to make good calls. You know, besides Homestead, why'd you have to pit with like five to go? Why? Just because it worked for you that one time in Sonoma when you pitted with like five to go. It doesn't mean it's gonna work every time. No, you, you lost yourself the championship last year because of that one call. We're not talking about that. We're talking about this race. Take it race by race. You can do it. 11 laps to go. We're gonna go back green with 10 to go. He's got a pass. Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson. You know, you've already passed Kyle Larson, you know, beat him like many times. Chase Elliott, he's never won a race, so we're not worried about him. But let's just, you saved under caution. You got Kyle Larson, you can pass him. Let's do this. We're back green, come on, Kyle. Let's go. Okay. Oh, nope. He falls back. Oh! How is that not a wreck? It's... How is that not a wreck? It, oh, it is a, not a wreck. It is... Oh, there is a wreck! Danica! Danica! Oh, no. She always takes the hardest hits. Why does she always take the hardest hits on that wall? She always does. Okay, Kyle Bush back to fifth. Okay, we got five laps to go when we go back green. His car pulls off. And Kyle Larson and Denny Hamlin. Chase Elliott's in the second row. It's intense. Oh, Kyle Bush is trying to move him out of the way. And Kyle Bush got a little loose back there. Falling back. That's why I hate these cautions in the late race. I'll keep the camera on and cut to something if needed. And Hamlin has a tire down, it looks like. Yeah, we, these two have had trouble before. Larson has the lead. Got three laps to go. Okay, we got two laps to go. And there was the overtime line. Kyle Larson passed it, so we're good to the end. White flag in the air for Kyle Larson. One lap to go. Uncut. Let's see. Larson looks like he's going to win his second race of the season. Who I predicted in the prediction show to win this weekend. Looks as though I was right. Let's see. Larson, half a lap to go. Leading. Oh, that's why he won. Because, the, the, you know, the, they needed the advertisements and the... Yeah. Michigan International Speedway, Larson wins, Chase Elliott second. You know, product placement, so we go and see the movie. That's why he won. That's why he won. Larson. The California Kid, our own Lightning McQueen. Doing a burnout in Victory Lane. That's iconic. I like that. 
that's the best that's new. in racing because it's just this side of pit wall. Imagine a few minutes from now we'll see it like we'll see them come out in victory lane and we'll see like tire tracks on the floor. That'll be pretty cool. So you can see those tire marks and everybody's there. That's pretty cool actually. I respect that. Marks like this. Kyle Larson with son Owen. Now, <laughs> now Owen scored a trophy last night in the Father's Day. I know you want to go upstairs, but you can't. Guys, I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm actually going to edit it tonight. For the last few nights, I've just been like playing PlayStation and have not been editing at night. But just. When I wake up, it's only going to be two days until we get NASCAR Heat Evolution. Hey right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog right here for you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Stay strong, guys. Have a fantastic day today, and I will see you later.